Who is it? Some dude. I don't uh, know, but he's chasing me hard. Every time I stream Elden Ring, I'm always asked the same question, how's the PvP in this one? I played a little Dark Souls 2, played a little Dark Souls 3 PvP, thought it was kind of fun on the down low. Is Elden Ring PvP fun, or am I going to get cum shot by a wayward Eskimo? And, um, I really can't sum up how Elden Ring's PvP performs better than this clip right here. Well, friend, that's it. No hard feelings. Now, Elden Ring, in terms of pretty much fucking- Oh! Well, hold the phone. Hold the fucking phone. I've got a notification from PlayStation. What is it? Apparently, Areola Granola's returning to Fortnite. Holy fucking shit. That is monumental. Thank you, PlayStation 5. So, the state of Elden Ring PvP. In a quote, it sucks shit through a crazy straw. At least if you like the direction they were taking the PvP with Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. This game, it's not really so much about your skill and ability as it is your build. It's all about cheesing, spell spam, and stacking buildups. They've gotten rid of R1 combos, stun combos, weapon art combos, and you're no longer really rewarded for proper spacing and baiting out attacks. But before I talk about any of that, I want to talk about the game's biggest fucking issue, the really big elephant in the room, and that's the fucking netcode. I don't know what kind of Mario, Luigi, Pasta, Stromboli, Spaghetti code they have for this game, but it doesn't fucking work. And the network connection is so bad that people are getting soft banned, not by just like hackers by like Malcolm Reynolds or anything like that, but just for playing with their friends, trying to play with the game with their friends, they'll be getting soft banned consistently. And on top of that, the netcode is in such a bad state. It's completely killed one of the old, one of the oldest mechanics in the game, and that's going for parries and backstabs. Because parries and backstabs were already a really high risk, high reward maneuver, you know. But it, there was no like the dopamine that you got off of landing a clutch parry during a gank was second to none. It was really cool. Three guys are fighting you. You get the parry. And you take the big damage, maybe you one-shot the boss, it's fucking awesome. But now, in Elden Ring, not only is it really hard to land a parry because of just the way the netcode works and the fact that the skill is a factor in landing it, now you could land the parry, take the repost, and get no damage. Get absolutely zero damage because you and the host netcode didn't line up perfectly. You somehow managed to get the fucking stars to align to cause this event that eclipses the miracle of your birth, which is landing a parry with Elden Ring's netcode and still not be rewarded for it. So they've added all the more risk for no more reward. And speaking of reward, there's absolutely no incentive for people to invade in this game. There's no PvP covenant, there are no PvP uh, items that give you a really cool weapon or some armor or some kind of an unlock later on in the game. There's absolutely no incentive to go in and every invasion that you do now, you're going to have to pull off a fucking fighter PLG9 maneuver to win. And you're gonna have to use a one-shot build to counter the other one-shot builds. You're gonna have to get a Stone Cold Stunner off on someone before they RKO you. That's just how the PvP works. Now, that's not to say that you can't have fun on this. You can have a good old hoot and hollering good time. You can have a real boop and a blast playing this. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though is that that kind of PvP doesn't have a whole lot of longevity. It doesn't have any staying power. I can't see this game's PvP community thriving and lasting the way it did with Dark Souls 2. Because most of the time, when you criticize the game like I am, these omni-optimistic mouth breathers will just say, get better, get good, you're, fuck you're just bad. That's not the issue. I don't need to get good, you don't need to get good. Us PvP sweats that are good at the game, we're fine. We can run out here into fucking Tombstone, the wild west of Souls PvP, and still stand tall. But the newer invaders can't. The newer invaders are coming in, getting their fucking shit pushed in, maybe winning once and thinking, Oh shit, I fuck just wasted my time, that wasn't fucking worth it. I just had to like, f David and Goliath this shit, for what? A rune and some lip balm? Fuck that. I'm not doing that, that's shitty. There's absolutely no incentive, there's no cheese on a string being dangled in front of your face the way there used to be. And there's just no incentive. It's really harsh on casual invaders from the older games, or just brand new invaders. There's fucking no incentive. And 
it's gonna fucking hurt the game in the long run, I feel, unless they do some really big changes. And it wouldn't really be that hard, I, I think. Reducing weapon art damage from player to player across the board. Reducing the recovery frames off of every single fucking thing in the game. Reducing the number of iframes, because now it's so hard to punish things. You can't use whiff tech. Spacing. Knowing your spacing on weapons doesn't really help you anymore. It's uh, all the old skill-based gameplay is just fucking gone. And they need to re-enable a lot of that shit. The semi-competitive nature of Souls PvP that we used to have is completely fucking gone now. We used to talk about R1 spam like it was the big bad boogeyman, but now there's something new going bump of the night. And that's L2 spam. That's all you ever see is L2, people trying to outfuck each other with their weapon art one shots. I mean, first and foremost, they would have to fix the spaghetti net code. That's the biggest thing. That is by far the biggest thing. Before any kind of balancing shit occurs. The network needs to be fixed. But it's just, it's a real mess, it's extremely harsh to new people trying to PvP. And maybe that's what From Software wants, I don't know. Maybe that's what they want, maybe it's Maybelline. I've got no idea, I'm not fucking Hidetaka Miyazaki. I've got absolutely no idea. But the game's PvP, like I said, at the moment, it's just the fucking Wild West. It's Tombstone out here with this shit. And you can absolutely go on and revel in the fucking chaos and have a good time. That's what I'm doing. But it's, like I said, it's just really harsh on new invaders. Way more risk for no more reward. And it's it's just a fucking mess. It's, it's just it's an absolute mess. And I'll be honest with you, babes. I'm not sure that we're gonna see any real change in this game for a long, long time. And now I I, I know big fucking shock. Grumpy old pessimistic skids not optimistic about something. I I know, I get it. But the fact it took From Software a fucking year to even touch the Dark Sword and Dark Souls 3 doesn't fill me with a heart full of uh, optimism, I'm not gonna lie to you. But anytime you say, no, From Software can do no wrong, you, know, you got the holy rollers, some change is gonna come, you know, that type of shit. <laughs> I just, I don't think we're gonna see any real change, unless maybe like me and my vulgar militia, Malcolm Reynolds and all these people that are fucking the game over, just fucking it in every orifice, unless everyone that is just screwing the game over, pisses off the the wider Souls community a lot. I don't see anything happen. Until Vaddy Vidya gets fucking twerked on by a vulgar militiaman, I really don't fucking see any big change coming. That's that's just me though. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope all of you have enjoyed it, and I uh, hope that if anything it's just giving you a little food for thought. Let me know what you think about the state of the game's PvP down below. So yeah, see ya.